CA125 is a protein that's measured in the bloodstream and we use this as a tumor marker um, mainly for ovarian cancer. And so when we see elevated levels in the bloodstream in patients with known ovarian cancer, we can use the CA125 to monitor response to treatment. Uh, CA125 is elevated in about 80% of women with advanced ovarian cancer, and it's elevated in about 50% of women with an early stage ovarian cancer. Yes, there is a normal range for CA125, and uh, a lower score is better, but usually a range of less than 35 or less than 20, depending on the lab, is, is considered normal. But that being said, CA125 can sometimes be elevated uh, from non-cancerous conditions, particularly in premenopausal women. Anything that uh, causes inflammation or irritation to the inner lining of the pelvic or abdominal cavity, uh, so patients with any kind of an infection, um, menstrual period, it's endometriosis, fibroids, uh, benign ovarian cysts, all of these can cause the CA125 to, to be elevated. Uh, ethnic background, smoking status, all of these can also affect the CA125. And so, particularly in premenopausal women, only about 3% with an elevated CA125 actually have cancer. The other 97% of women have a, a benign or non-cancerous condition. So CA125 has an FDA approval, and that FDA approval is to monitor response to treatment in patients with known cancer. But a lot of healthcare providers use CA125 off-label as part of a workup to assess the risk of cancer in a, in a woman with a pelvic mass, for example. But we know it's not a perfect screening test, but it's one piece of data that we can use, along with a lot of other information to assess a patient's risk for, for having cancer. So a CA125 cannot definitively diagnose ovarian cancer. For that, we need surgery or a, a tissue biopsy. When a pathologist looks at the tissue under the microscope, that's what will really tell us if cancer is there. So what CA125 can do, along with ultrasound or other kinds of imaging, is give a healthcare provider a higher or lower level of suspicion that uh, a tumor or abnormal growth is present on the ovary.